Cattle sales in the province of Saskatchewan have increased 29% year over year, but this year's drought and feed shortage isn't the only reason. Numbers from 2020 are lower as COVID-19 temporarily closed some slaughter plants while others ran with reduced capacity. So we are seeing more this year because of what happened in 2020. And, you know, let's be honest, it's <laughs> there's some dry conditions out there, right? And so, yes, during the year, these years, we're going to see less herd retention and higher calling percentages. This year's drought has pushed many farmers to their limits with more and more farmers considering culling their herds. This decision can have an impact on the cattle market. If we do sell off animals, you know, that means there's going to be less calves to have next year. And so the supply will go down, which, you know, if you go back to your economics 101, less supply means a higher, higher, higher price, right? So, you know, that, that could provide, some, as our beef herd declines, and in the states, their beef herd is declining as well. So that hopefully will provide some support for our prices in the new year. It's not, a, it's not something that producers want to make. I know it's a tough, tough decision. Um, but, you know, hopefully in the future we will see some, some good prices for our cow-calf producers. The decision to sell a herd is a tough one and the government of Saskatchewan encourages producers to reach out to a regional specialist. You know, they can offer support for producers to help with the decisions, like if they want to talk about, you know, what they need to feed those animals, if they want to keep them, or, you know, um, what, what considerations to take, I guess, when you're talking about culling some animals, you know, what things to look for. Financial relief for producers is expected to be on the way. Government of Saskatchewan's Agricultural Minister David Merritt announced earlier this month that they would allot $119 million for producers through agri recovery. The Government of Canada announced last week that they would pitch in an additional $500 million across all the prairie provinces. Specific details on how that funding will be given out should become available in the next coming days. Jillian Code, Primetime Local News.